Good morning and welcome to class. Thank you so much for starting your day practicing with me. I am so honored to have you here with me today. It's going to be a really quick and effective energizing morning routine for you. So let's jump right in. You don't need any props. You just need your body and you're already not making excuses because you're here. So let's get to it. We'll begin in a standing forward fold at the back of your mat. Keep the knees bent, let the head hang heavy, and interlace the hands behind the head. Then you'll start to bounce your chest up and down. Keep bouncing, bounce, 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 bounce. So you're, of course, not going to your full end range. But what you're doing here is you're just waking up the fascial lines, your hamstrings, your calves, your back. Just getting the blood pumping. Last five, four, three, two, one. And release the hands down. The fingertips come down towards the ground. Again, keep the knees bent. And then you're going to come back onto the heels, lift the balls of the feet up. And then switch, balls of the feet come down, lift the heels. Bring it back, switch, balls of the feet lift, and heels lift. Let's do two more, each end of the foot. Great, soles of the feet come back down to the ground, then walk your hands to the top of the mat, high plank. We'll do a quick little wrist warm up here in high plank. So spread the fingers wide, grip into the mat with the fingertips, tuck the tailbone under, push the ground away, just like you always do in a plank. And then start to shift forward and back. If this already feels like it's too much on the wrists, you can also just set the knees down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Now everyone set the knees down if they weren't already there. Come onto the backs of the hands, the fingers point towards the knees. Keep the arms straight and then gently sit back towards the heels. A little sway left and right, just release the wrists. Great, back to tabletop. And then we'll do some barrel rolls with the abdominal area. So you're gonna let the belly sink down towards the ground. And then let the whole belly come over to the right. And then round the back, just like you would in cat pose. And then bring the belly over to the left, the belly area, and then back down towards the mat. So let's do two more big circles. Over to the right, round the back, to the left and down. Last one. Great, and switch directions. Three circles to the left. Start to connect your movement with the breath. Great, back to a tabletop. Tuck the toes under and then lift both knees up off the ground just an inch for turbo cat. So you're still rounding the back. Now keep your left knee the same height that it is. And then you're going to bring your right knee close to your right elbow. Point the right foot. And then keep the other three limbs as they are. You're only going to move your right leg straight back. So the right quad is almost parallel to the ground. Keep the left knee an inch off the ground. Now bring the right knee back to the right elbow. Let's do four more. Send it back. Bring it forward. Three. Two. And one three-legged dog, right leg lifts. Adjust your stance if you need to. Widen it, start to straighten both legs. 
And then bend the right knee, open stack the hips. A little bit of a twist in the spine. And exhale, right foot comes outside the right hand, lizard lunge. Gently rock the hips forward and back, around in a circle. And then begin to straighten both legs for pyramid pose. So maybe step the left foot forward a foot or two. Micro bend in the right knee. And exhale, melt down over the right leg. Soften the breath. Pivot to the left for Prasarita, standing forward straddle fold. So pivot both feet to point towards the left side of your mat. Right hand comes down underneath the head and the left hand comes to the low back. Gentle twist. Switch, left palm comes down, right hand to the low back. And release. Take an inhale to halfway lift. And then spider lunge to the left. Left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Move towards the front of the mat, back to that runner's lunge. Left palm comes back down to the ground and step right foot over for wild thing. Lift the hips. Exhale, right palm down to the ground, and right leg comes underneath for starfish. Exhale, left palm to the ground, step the right foot back, high plank. Shift forward, high on the toes, and bend the arms. Let's do three push-ups. Press it up. Two more. Now we'll do a half a push up, which I guess is just called a push. I don't know. Lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, baby cobra. The chest peels off the mat. Engage the muscles in the back. You're really light on the fingertips. Exhale, release. Press back. Child's pose. Walk the hands up, come into a seat, hero's pose. We're just gonna do one round of Kapalbhati breath work. So with this, you're doing a forceful exhales and you're sort of engaging all the muscles here in your core to forcefully exhale the air out. And then the air just naturally comes back in. So it's pretty fast the rhythm that we do with this type of breath work. We have an entire tutorial on it, so if you want to get the full breakdown, then you can check it out in the description below. But for now, let's just try it out. It's early. I know instructions are hard. Let's just jump into it. You'll figure it out. So make a fist with the hands. And we're only going to be breathing out through the nose, in and out through the nose. So the lips are sealed the entire time. So let's do it together. Start to exhale, we'll do 33 rounds. Once you get to the end, take a slow, deep breath in and exhale, release. You can release the hands and just sit here for a moment, maybe close the eyes. Reconnect with your breath. 
feel that heat, that fire, that energy inside of you. It's going to help you power you through your entire day. Great. Blink open the eyes. Come back into tabletop. And we'll complete the other side. Tuck the toes under. Make your way into Turbo Cat. Knees hover above the ground just an inch. Keep the right knee where it's at, and then the left knee is going to come towards the left elbow. Point the left foot, and then bring the left knee back all the way until its left quad is almost parallel to the ground. Keep the right knee one inch above the mat, and then bring it forward. Tap the elbow. Bring it back. Let's go for three more. Nice and slow. Great, last one. And three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Readjust the hands. Bend the left knee, open stack the hips. And exhale, left foot outside the left hand, lizard lunge. Pyramid pose. Both legs begin to straighten. There's a little, little slight bend in the left knee. And melt down over the left leg. So the right heel is all the way down on the ground. If it's not there, then shorten your stance. Bring the right foot a little bit more forward. As you start to inhale, lift, pivot the feet, prasarita to the right, standing forward, straddle fold. Option to either keep the hands underneath you, you can walk them behind you, or if you'd like to interlace the hands behind the back, you can bring them up over your head, stretch out the shoulders, We're here for three breaths. Release the hands. Palms come underneath the shoulders all together. Inhale to lift and spider lunge to the right. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight. Move towards the front of the mat, the runner's lunge. Right palm comes down to the mat, wild thing. Left leg steps up and over. Exhale, left palm down to the ground, starfish. And exhale, right hand down. Step the left foot back. High plank. What do you say? Three more push-ups? Yeah, let's do it. Shift forward, lower down. Press it up. Two more, make it good. If you need to set the knees down, please do. And lower all the way down. Untuck the toes and inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, lower down. Press the hips back to the heels, child's pose.
Beautiful. Press yourself back up to a seat. Back into that hero's pose. And I'll be ending the video here. So you're welcome now to jump right into your meditation practice, maybe more breath work or whatever else it is you want to do. Maybe take a Shavasana, but try not to fall back asleep. I know it's early. So do whatever you need to do to feel good in your body. Thank you so much for joining me today, for starting your morning with me. I'm so honored to be welcomed into your space so early in the morning. We'll see you again tomorrow. Lots of love. Namaste.